From day one, Max was always one of the most energetic kids in the group in his class, and his basketball talent just went without saying. Our program, we've had success in the last 20 years, but I think when Max came, what happened is that sort of turbocharged the process in terms of wins for sure. <laughs> When I realized I was a freshman on varsity, you know, that doesn't really happen, you know, extremely often. It really showed me that I could really do something with the sport. It's not going to shock me at all when, you, when we hear his name called on draft day, whether that's in a year, two years, or three years, because we've seen here what Max is all about. I can't do that. Lefty, this is gonna be ugly. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I can't shoot with the left hand. Oh wait, I needed a practice. So there's definitely been a history of basketball in both of our lives. Um, myself started playing in third grade, just at local YMCA um, leagues with all my friends and just being the tallest one out of everyone that um, just continued and was supported all the way through high school and then playing college basketball at Northwestern. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't start playing basketball until I was 10. I came from Jamaica and then we moved from Jamaica to Toronto to New York and then to Chicago, and then I played for my junior high in Evanston. I grew up in Evanston um, at St. Mary's, and then went on to play high school basketball, and then ended up playing college basketball. Uh oh! Oh, Cameron wins. When Max was born, uh, basketball was on the TV in the hospital room. It's funny; we were watching basketball as he as he was being born. Basketball's always been a part of our lives, whether we're watching it, whether we're playing it. It's just something that we've loved. So. Max was born into it immediately, never forced, but always was around it um, since he came into the world. All right, let's go. Make five. My dad taught me really how to shoot the basketball, so we definitely shot a lot of hoops out in that driveway out there. Um, just getting that, that shooting foam correct and all that sort of stuff and then working on the actual skills of the game, dribbling into j jump shots and all that. So just a lot of hours outside in that driveway and when we had access to the gym eventually we'd go there all the time and uh, make sure that you know, I was staying on top of my game, both me and my brother. Sorry, let's go. Five in a row. I coached both boys up until eighth grade and that was the goal to coach them up until eighth grade but when we all started you know there wasn't they had to learn to make layups it was just basic basketball and I kept telling him that basic basketball though it's boring will make you good and I don't think Max or Cameron took a three until eighth grade seventh eighth grade just because I didn't want them to develop bad form and throwing a ball at the basket you know and it ended up working out for them really well and then you know part of my goal was you had to be able to learn a dribble pass and shoot and that's basic basketball. One more camera, one more, one more, one more. More ball, ball. Quick, quicker than that. Well, the, the biggest thing was, when, I think when they were growing up, you know, we had sat down with them and we had kind of said, you know, what, where do you, what do you guys want to do? You know, you know, what do you see yourself doing for the rest of your life? And yeah, what, are your goals? what are your goals? And, you know, and they both said, well, I want to play basketball. I want to be a professional basketball player. You know, and I said, well, that takes a lot. That's, it's a lot of work. You know, it's a lot of time. You're going to kind of, you're going to give up a lot, you know, and I, and I said, this, this is what you want to do. This is what we're going to do every single day. They believed it and, and we did it. I mean, every single day for about an hour, hour and a half every day, we were out on the driveway, either shooting, <laughs> dribbling, what, up and down the street, up and down the sidewalk, you know, they did it. Do three things, shot fake, drive, baseline, dunk it, let's do three. Yeah, sacrifices come with, you know, at this level of basketball that I've been able to play at, sacrifices come, you know, that's how, you, that's how you're good at things. And even in life in general, you have to sacrifice a lot of things, you know, time with family, time with friends. But for me to sacrifice those things, it really helped out to where I am now. And I, if I had to go back, I would sacrifice those same things over and over again, just because the dream that I have, um, it takes sacrifice. And I was willing to sacrifice those things in order to make progress towards that dream. He put in a lot of work studying and playing basketball, and, and it, it wasn't easy. Yeah, I mean, he gave up a lot. Really proud of him. He's sacrificed a lot. He's gotten a lot, no doubt, as far as awards and results, but there's a lot behind the scenes that right. people don't see and people don't know, and right. you know, choices that he's, he's made in order to be able to accomplish um, these things. So m I personally am much more proud of 
academics and the person yeah. he is and how he treats people um, than any basketball award that you might have seen. Yeah. Um, yeah. Super proud of both boys. Yeah. This is my big wall of trophies. Uh, so first over here we have three MSL East Division Player of the Years um, for my sophomore, junior, and senior year of high school. Um, I have my 1,000 career point ball, 1,500 and 2,000. Um, up here is my uh, Illinois Gatorade Player of the Year that I actually won this year. This one meant a lot to me because I wanted this ever since I was younger. So it felt really good to have this up here. This jersey, these two jerseys are really sentimental to me. Uh, one, because of McDonald's All-American, that's like every you know, Hooper's dream as they come up when you're a child, you want to be uh, part of a McDonald's All-American elite class. And then this one is a uh, Nike Hoop Summit uh, for Team USA. Uh, I've been with Team USA for almost three or four years now, and it felt, feels really good to just have that award, the Nike Hoop Summit, to kind of just cap it all off, and even in the future if I'm lucky enough to be with them again. This was when I won my gold medal um, in 2019 with the U16 USA national team. Um, that's one of my biggest achievements for sure, just winning a gold medal with uh, these great group of guys up here. And then lastly, shout out to mom. Um, these two awards up here, this one is when she was into, uh, inducted in the Wisconsin Basketball Coaches Hall of Fame. I remember going there in uh, 2016 to that award. So uh, that was really fun to be with her. So just a little nice little tribute here. Um, to this little measuring thing that we have on the wall here. Uh, when I was younger, we started at 11 years old in 2014. Um, I believe that's it, yeah, May 2014 is when we started doing this. So this is just a little um, thing that we have used over the years just to uh, see how much I've, I've grown in height. Um, so over here, you can see my dad marked himself up right here. And at the age of 13 in 2016, I actually surpassed him. <laughs> so it's kind of funny how I... Uh, passed my dad in height at the age of 13 and then my mom uh, marked herself up right here and I passed her a year later in 2017. So I was 14 years old when I passed my mom and then uh, 13 years old when I passed my dad in height. So uh, it's really nice to have that sort of stuff up there just for memories in the, in the future. Oh, no. So something other than basketball that I really love to do is watch anime. Um, and the way that I got into anime was actually from my dad. When we were younger, he uh, got us into Dragon Ball Z. And ever since I've watched Dragon Ball Z, I was sort of into that, that, type, of, that type of TV show. And now, throughout the past uh, couple years, uh, me and my younger brother have really intensified that sort of that sort of anime watching. We watch multiple different shows with each other multiple times on multiple occasions. And so that's one of the, the biggest things that I like to do off the court is watch TV shows such as anime. Are the brothers competitive? They're competitive and it, it's funny because we've never ever really seen them fight or argue. You know, Max will definitely say he's better than Cameron. Cameron will definitely say he's going to be better than Max. Right, like right. that definitely occurs, right. you know, but it never gets taken to a place where, where it's out of hand. It's right. like friendly, supportive competition. Yeah. Well, the, I think the funny thing is when, when they were growing up, I said to them both, I said, this is your best friend. You'll never have another friend. You'll never have, have someone like this guy to support you and vice versa. And they've always been best friends. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, growing up, um, both Cameron and I, we were around basketball, like I said, basketball's all over the place, so we wanted to play with each other all the time. But now at this point, when we're older and we actually you know, understand the game a little bit more and you know the dynamics of just you know having a brother and having a family, supporting each other, we sort of just you know encourage each other to be the best versions of ourselves, both on and off the court. And we love to see each other's successes. So, you know, growing up with a younger brother like Cameron has helped me tremendously. Being on the team where Max was a leader, um, I was able to, you know, like listen to him and take guidance from him. And now I can take that guidance and, you know, help the other people, like the juniors who haven't played varsity yet. I can use that uh, information to help them. And also, since it's my class, we've been friends and we've been playing together since, you know, third grade. So we're definitely all close. We're a good friend group, and um, I think I'm very excited to be able to help them out as they go through varsity. What was one of the really interesting things to see, especially this past season um, as we went through, is sort of almost like a, a passing of the torch, so to speak. You know, in our last game, in our conference championship game against Barrington, Max, Max had two, three guys on him the whole game, and, and we were trailing actually for a little bit. 
And Cameron took over that game, and he, he was one of the main reasons why we were able to pull away at the end and win. And you could almost see, like, in Cameron's face, like, all right, I got this now. You know, it's, it, you've had your chance. It's my turn. And, and thanks for everything you've done for me and mentoring me and helping me. And we're going to be in good shape now from here on out. You don't necessarily see a lot of people play with your younger brothers or siblings on the same varsity basketball team. So being able to play with him was amazing, let alone the fact that COVID almost took it away. Um, and the fact that it didn't, and we were lucky enough to the point where we were able to play with each other. And eventually, as we started winning games and won that MSL championship, that made it even more better. Uh, winning an MSL championship with my younger brother, it, was just, it just felt amazing to play with him for two years. You know, I definitely don't feel like I'm living in Max's shadow. I feel like I've, you know, started to come out as my own person. Just because I've always tried, especially for my parents, they've always told me to be myself. I also feel like now that he's going to college, I'm getting more of an opportunity to prove, you know, who I am as a person, as a basketball player. And I think that he's also helped me with that. Just, you know, always encouraging me to, you know, feel like, do what I feel is best and to not always follow him. And I think it's definitely been very helpful. He's really a complete player. He's He can take it to the rim, he can dunk, he can shoot from three, he can pull up. It, it all starts with Kevin Katowicz, the head coach. Um, he, since Max was in, well, I think it was eighth grade, to be a freshman, Kevin has been a big support, a big help, you know, with just organizing. He's a great organizer, more so than I'm not the organizer, she's the organizer. And the principal, you know, I mean, this is hard. Everyone's been a great help. Yeah, Lisa DeRosha, yeah. The, I mean, we could name so many people, the deans. He's had amazing teachers um, that have mentored him, supported him, yeah. support staff, uh, the, the janitors. I mean, I know I mean, it's so silly, but yeah, all the times he's in there shooting, right, you know, helping right. us out. Um, I cannot say enough about how supportive everyone at Rolling Meadows and extending out into the whole district has been. And it's one of the reasons why Max and Cameron still are here. Everyone always asks us, why didn't you transfer? Right. Why hasn't yeah. he gone to any prep school? Why would we leave this? I right. mean, he's unbelievably supported. Our family is unbelievably yep. supported. He can't get anything anywhere else that he has not gotten here. Coach Katowicz did a great job of guiding me through my four years at Erling Meadows. He was sort of, you know, the guy that really helped me and really guided me through my whole high school career, both in the classroom and um, on the basketball court. Just he, he's helped me a lot over four years, and there, I can't thank him enough for everything he's done for me, recruiting-wise, off the court, school-wise, just in general, everything he's done. He's really helped me for four years, for sure. I'm very glad that I, I, I went to Rolling Meadows and I stayed there for four years. Uh, I made friends there, I made great friends, and I made great relationships with teachers and you know counselors and all that um, sort of that sort of gig. So I'm really happy that I, I went to Rolling Meadows and it was a great school for me and I, I would never regret not going there. Welcome everyone to a special recruiting announcement here on Fox Sports Digital. I'm Andy Katz, pleased to be joined by Max Christie. So decision day was a very intense day. I remember announcing it over a Zoom call with Andy Katz. And um, it was really nerve wracking sort of just to announce it to everybody because, um, you know, announcing a college decision is always a really big day and it's something that you really want to cherish. And so I wanted to make sure that I did it right. I'll let you handle this part. This is your announcement. This is your moment. Where will you attend college in the fall of 2021? Yep. Um, I will be committing to Michigan State, Coach Izzo his staff and my future teammates. I chose Michigan State uh, simply because the, the prestigious basketball program that they've had over the years, you know, with Coach Izzo being there and how many, how much of a winning culture that he's brought to that, that college and just the blue collar and the family and just the family tradition that they've always had. It's something that I really wanted to be a part of and felt that I was wanted to be at Michigan State. And so I decided to go there. So decision day was definitely heated, but it was definitely a good type of, type of heat of the day. I really remember that day vividly and it's something that I will always remember for sure. Number five, Max, Mad Max Christie. Uh, my teammates at Michigan State are great. They welcome me with open arms. Um, with a lot of veterans, juniors and seniors on our team, um, I'm able to come into a group where they can really, you know, teach me the ropes and how they did it because they've been there for two, three, four years now. So my teammates, uh, they're great. We all get along very well and we're all really supportive of each other and we all have that same goal in mind of winning as many games as possible. I mean, the goal right now is my time at Michigan State is to win as many games as possible. Um, and that, that entails how many, however many years I'm going to be there. Um, I just want to win as many games as possible. I really want to enjoy the college life and the college aspect of life because 
college is something that you only get once and I really want to make sure that I fully experience that whole gig and it's something that I really want to cherish and basketball wise like I said we just want to win as many games as possible and if I'm lucky enough my, my entire life goal is just to be a professional basketball player um, so if I'm lucky enough and I work hard enough to, to get to that point then um, th that's something that I would love.